In this video, I'm talking about language learning, especially English, but it can be any language. Mindset, skills, techniques, and start with system, system thinking. So you are in a system in which you learn language. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have a teacher, but the best way if you have a teacher who provides a system and you also set up a second system, which is when you learn alone, maybe at home or in the office. So system thinking means that environment, physical environment and social environment, and also your mindset and attitude. So the, uh, when you learn at home, you need to be alone not interrupted by other people and your mobile phone you have to set a time because okay when i have time i will learn it is not very effective i understand sometimes you cannot do other way but the best way if you set up okay every night from 9 to 10 i will spend one hour to learn english and you communicate this schedule to the people who may want your time and interrupt you and then they know that don't bother you you turn off the mobile phone so other people will not bother you no TV no eating so you also have to set up your body and emotion and and the mind for learning the body means that you put your body in a state where you can perform the best so not to be hungry and not to be full not to be tired okay not to be thirsty find the right position in which you can learn it depends on you okay emotionally be very eager to learn trust yourself that you can improve it doesn't mean that you, you are very optimistic so be aware that there will be a lot of fallbacks a lot of times you will not be motivated so be aware that learning anything and reaching higher and higher level it's very difficult but you are able to improve this is one mindset and the other it will be difficult and sometimes I want to give up so now when you are enthusiastic and you want to start to learn language now you make a decision that whenever I feel that I am not progressing fast enough I will just continue because I know that gradually I will learn. Maybe I'm a little bit slower than other people, but it doesn't matter. I can compensate it with time. And also the mindset like this, but also that I want to learn. Create motivation. The best is internal motivation because I want to learn, but also you can have external motivation. For example, you want to pass an exam two years later, not tomorrow, two years later or you just want to reach a high level let's say english learning and then you will be motivated externally and internally so you set up a system you and each time when you start to learn you prepare your body and emotion and the mind to perform optimally and in the last picture you you set up a system you set up especially the time where and and also where that when and where will you learn get the, uh, the teaching material beyond this one you can also have a teacher and probably the teacher will uh, provide a system so you can have two system where you learn either with a teacher maybe in a group but it's much better one-to-one -one, or individually now when you learn languages understand what kind of learnings there are so one element that most people hate is memorization if you don't remember things you will not progress so the basic is remembering and of course understanding so these two things that you have to understand what you learn you understand the grammar rules of course you have to learn the words you have to know how to say the words correctly and how to write them correctly. So there is a lot of things that you have to memorize. And the key for memorization is focus. And most people, let's say somebody who can really focus, let's say this level in one year, but the other reaches this level because the difference is that 
the people who cannot focus, they waste their time. It, the difference can be 100 times speed. Okay. The other is the capacity of your memory, especially the auditory memory, because most people learn visually, they use the eye to learn a language, and then they are very surprised that, oh, I cannot speak, I already spent 10 years to learn this language and I still cannot speak. Why? <laughs> because, not just speak, but I can't understand what people say. Because most people use the eyes, they learn visually, so they read and write. But they don't listen and don't talk. When you learn a language, let's say English, then 100% of the time that you spend, spend maybe 2-3% for reading, 2-3% for writing. Speaking can be maybe 10%. And all the other is listening. The listening is the most difficult. And if you understand how babies learn a language, the first language, it's about listening. They listen millions of words from different people and they don't see, the, they don't read. It's just listening, getting, get, getting used to the sound. That is one element. Getting familiar with the sound, the intonation, maybe the accent, and then learning the meaning and then later practicing to repeating and the teacher can improve yourself so the listening should be the most time consuming element you should spend the most time for listening but listening is not passive listening is just you watch tv so watching tv listening to the radio will not help also listening that you can read very quick, so you, you read subtitles in a movie. It will also not help too much. All of everything that you do will help something, but they are not very effective. The best way of listening, uh, first understand the main point in listening is that usually you know the word in a, in a written form. So you, let's say you are not total beginner, that you already reach a level. So this is your level this is your level when you read but when you listen this is your level so main point in learning is about catching up by uh, by ear recognizing by listening to the language that you already can understand if you read it okay this is i would say at least 80 percent of language learning understand by ear what you can understand seeing so you learn, you already learn probably, and then spend a lot of time for focused learning. So you are listening something, no text, and you repeat, let's say just 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds, you listen. So uh, this exercise, you cannot really do it by yourself because you need somebody who chooses the level. Maybe you can choose this, but somebody need to guide you, that's why a teacher is a good idea, guide you how, uh, when to give up, when to get some help. So you, you struggle, you listen the same 5-10 second audio or video for 10 times, 20 times and don't write down, so it's, don't use any visual tool when you learn listening and don't use your own native language. So don't think that you hear something, don't try to translate into your language. Understand immediately in that language. Okay? So you listen li and, and you have to repeat the word, the sentences. So maybe five, ten seconds is what you can handle after, let's say, you spend five minutes. That listening, that listen, and in your head try to repeat it or you start to say it but it's better in your head because you should not say the words because maybe you teach yourself the wrong pronunciation so that's why it's better to just repeat in your head with those people's voice that you listen to so you watch a video you stop it and you spend time to try to reconstruct in your head the conversation what you heard and of course it's very difficult so then you have to listen the original uh, things again and then 
repeat it again and again and again until you can say it. But that's why you need somebody who can guide you that, uh, hey, you know that word, you know this, try harder and maybe give some hint. And the essence of this kind of learning is the struggle and training the brain to recognize words. Because under this man, when it's writing, you you learn it one time and probably maybe after the second, third time you will recognize this word forever. But listening is not. Especially for very short words like in English that is, that, his, her, have, have got. These kind of things, even if you heard it 1000 times, there is no guarantee that you will understand. So what you have to do is listen because every word you have a probability that you will recognize next time so somebody say cheese then maybe 90 percent of the time you will recognize when people say this and 10 percent of the time not but with very short words i'm talking about english this, you will recognize maybe uh seven percent of the time and 93 percent of the time you will not recognize it because it's so fast so the listening exercise is about recognizing different pronunciation because people speak differently so you're not learning one word and then you will recognize that word by ear because you have to learn many many hundreds of different people saying the same word in a conversation when it's it's very fast speed and they have their accent and accent and then they move their body so when you move the body the sounds have a different thing or sometimes they are laughing or different emotion so when you learn a language the listening aspect is that you have to recognize by yourself not cheating thousands of examples for the same word from different people in different speed different situation different background noise and then the brain will automatically become faster and faster recognizing and more accurate so each word you start with zero percent recognition and then you very slowly one two three four percent as you pass through months and even years okay so this is also a mindset that be aware that you need a lot of time to train your subconscious mind the automatic mind to recognize sounds and words very quickly and this is just the recognition of the symbols the sounds the, the words and the memory because you have to keep it in working memory and you need focus to push them into your uh, higher level longer term memories that you will remember later long time later later so focus memory speed these are the main point and you, you study in a system and then you have to understand that some aspect of language learning is procedural learning that you learn a procedure a, a pros, a, a, let's say a structure so when you create a sentence you follow grammar rules it's a procedure that okay first put the subject and then put the predicate which includes the verb and then maybe about the location or time maybe you can put at the end of the sentence maybe at the beginning of the sentence so you have to learn step by step structure building you recognize by learning when you learn structures you understand you memorize let's say if it's a simple present you have to remember when to use which tense if it's English and you have to know that okay if it's a question I have to change these two things auxiliary verb subject main verb but if it's a statement then this so you have to memorize this and to be able to do uh, to speak correctly you have to practice thousands and millions of times and you need feedback so when you set up the learning uh, system understand that you have to put feedback systems into your learning and uh, 
ultimate is the teacher. So without teacher, it's very difficult to, to you, you can learn a lot of things alone, but you need a teacher also for some exercises. And the other is the your yourself. So you have to set up a feedback system that I think that maybe it's wrong, I'm not very sure. So you have to have a kind of sense and a kind of language intelligence. Language intelligence is basically about pattern recognition. Understand that this sentence should relate to the previous sentence most of the cases. You cannot just say there is a question in simple past and they, you answer in simple future. No sense. So you need to develop this kind of language intelligence pattern recognition what people say in this situation it helps you to understand by listening okay so develop not just memory but also language intelligence which is part of the general intelligence it's about pattern recognition and using information that is not there so when you listen to something there is some the, the words that you hear but you have to know grammar rules you need to know the culture you have to understand the story what's going on you have to to know what can you expect people say so all of this will help you to put together and understand what they are talking about so what I'm talking about it's called deliberate learning De deliberate learning is about that you chunk down the main skills and the main goals that you have to uh, achieve into smaller and smaller parts and you focus on one part for example the listening example I mentioned it is about listening so it's not about watching TV just for fun and enjoyment that is not learning it is just so the opposite of uh, deliberate learning is using the language so when you're in a conversation with somebody probably it's not really learning it's about just using in a real life situation maybe stressful for you to make the things come out faster and maybe correctly but usually you are focusing on the topic but it's not focusing on the language elements that which grammar I should use which words should I use what about my intonation you have to have a separate time and focusing on one very small things for example you, you focusing on learning simple present tense how to use the structure and the situation when you use it and then you practice okay and then maybe the probability that you will use it correctly will be a little bit higher next time when you when you just not learning but you just talk to other people okay as a summary understand that there are different procedures in learning you have to learn structures and procedures you have to create a whole system in which you learn because without system you will give up very easily you have to take care of your internal motivation maybe external motivation let's say an exam or getting a job you have to understand the process language learning is mainly listening because if you can recognize by listening you have a good chance that you can pronounce this okay yes a teacher can help you to improve the pronunciation but at least 80% of language learning is listening and not just watching TV it will not help but deliberate listening focused in very short parts remembering repeating because it will help you to speak faster so you listen you understand you memorize this and then you practice saying the same one or two or three sentences again and again until it will be more automatic and be aware that you will forget that after one lesson if you don't repeat gradually you will forget things but if you learn again and again let's say every day then a lot of things will be repeated the same words the same grammar so even if you forget something that you will learn it again and again and after a while when you learn something a lot of times then you will remember with much higher probability and maybe it goes to your long-term memory and you will not forget this